What the hell? What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel, The Haunting of Hill House, episode 7. Eulogy. We are coming off one of the most unique episodes of television we've ever seen. It was dope. Just the way that it was shot, it consisted of three or four one-shots, which was, I mean, absolutely spectacular. And, and I don't know if you got a chance to watch it, but I watched a couple behind the scenes of that episode. And it's just, the way they made that work, it was spectacular. Well, you said that they did it in, like, three takes. Yeah. Like, like they... What? They, <laughs> they, I think it actually was all done in one take, but they rehearsed it a whole bunch, <laughs> and they nailed it. Yeah. Like, you gotta be some insanely talented actors to pull that off. Yeah, you like, never break character, you don't make jokes, yeah, like... like the, the camera moves had to be perfect. Everybody that was working on that side, like the lights, things it's, popping up, like it's it was like choreography. It was um, amazing. It was one of the coolest shows, episodes of anything that I've personally ever watched ever. Like just well, I mean, when they do, there's one other. When it comes to like, <laughs> when it comes to technical aspect of a show, like I've never seen anything like that. I think that was absolutely spectacular. But outside of that, it was a pretty rough episode to get through. The family came together to see Nell, and they're just, they're constantly like... It was a shit show. Yeah. It was a shit show. Everybody was drinking, so I'm sure that didn't help, but they were all buttonheads. They were all clashing. They were all fighting. They were just all over the place. Button. 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 Yeah, you like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and at one point, Nell clearly was just like, Hello! Like, you're here for it. me. You're here for me. Stop making it about yourselves. Which was like the whole two storm aspects where she got lost in the storm when she was a kid and now they're all there in another storm and they're not like they're arguing and fighting and they don't see her. And they, she was she there the whole time. Knocked herself over. Yeah. And put buttons on her eyes, which crazy considering just the relationship her and her mom had and the whole buttons thing. And yeah, I mean there was one scene where I couldn't tell if it was Nell or if it was Olivia, the mom. It I was, was her. Like, she was there early on when Steve. Okay. Steve saw her and was like, oh God, and turned around and walked away. Okay. That was that was Olivia. That was the mama. Okay. Um, and, you know, it got revealed that it wasn't just, like, the whole money situation. Like, Theo was also admitted that she took it. And then, and then Cheryl's husband, Kevin, admitted to also, like, hey, we also took the money, she too. She had to climb back off that high horse. Yeah, and, and that was that was a really tough moment because she talks about it as, like, it's blood money, it's terrible, it's this and that. I mean, but, I get it, but they needed it because Cheryl was discounting everything right. for everybody instead of you know, once in a while special, like, circumstance, everything was a special circumstance. Yeah, so Kevin viewed it as a way to keep the business flourishing and, and alive and active. And the way he put it makes it made a lot of sense. He's like, we put that money to really good use. Like, we... Yes, we, people that couldn't afford a funeral yeah. got a funeral. Yeah, and, and just the idea that they were able to, on the worst day of some people's lives, they were able to, like, you know, help be there them. to help. So... Yeah. I can't imagine where this is going. This episode is called Eulogy. Googly. You googly. You googly. <laughs> Thank you, Zoolander. <laughs> yeah. um, so I'm going to imagine someone. I'm going to guess maybe the dad is the one who's going to be speaking. You think so? I don't know. I it, think it'd be Cheryl. I. But then again, Cheryl walked in and saw Theo and Kevin hanging out. It's, they weren't kissing. They no, looked like they were arguing. They were up to something. But yeah, what the fuck is going on? But now, like, <laughs> she basically kicked them both out of the house. Yeah. But I'm really curious to see who's the main one going to... I am I would have to imagine they're all going to talk at some point for their sister. Um, but I don't... That's going to be a tough one, but I who think. else is going to come to, like, you know, view the body? Yeah. I don't know. Steve's wife, which will make things even more awkward because yeah. they're separated. Yes. Um, but yeah, this is this is this show is. I say it. I feel like I say it every single time. This show is absolutely amazing. It's dope. And I love I'm it. Really excited to see where this story continues because 
we still need to get like Olivia's story. We need to still find out everything that went down with her. And I uh, just got the chills. Ah, terrifying. Like, I'm sure it's very similar to what we watched with Nell, but she was there talking to Nell. Like who was there talking to Olivia, like egging her on to like do things. Oh, well, like there's like, like the old lady, there's the child, yeah. there's the, yeah, we met, all of the, we met all of them in the last episode, like physically saw them. <sighs> it's crazy. So you ready to jump in this episode? Yes. Let's <laughs> go. Are we going to get the mom and dad story? How, how much longer is this going to take? I got to get back to my kids. Kids are fine. I just checked on them. I want to make sure that when you do walk out of here, whenever you walk out of here, that you walk without a whiff of suspicion on you. You understand? Even telling the truth in this scenario, like... How do you get out of that? And we haven't talked about the other body. That didn't have anything to do with us. Of course not, the but you body. can fix it right here. Talk about the house, talk about Olivia, talk about what happened last night. This feels really weird. What? Like, I mean, they just, they like to like, you know, make you panic, I guess, just from the shit I've seen on TV. <laughs> the cop is just way too nice. Well, yeah, they want you, because they want you yeah. to trust them right, to right. tell them a bunch of shit. They want you to feel comfortable. How about this? Yeah. Hmm? I mean, he's talking to her, right? Yeah. Or is he just crazy? I think he saw me into her. Yeah. Hmm? Hey, I saw your husband at the hotel this morning. I know you're upset with him because he took Steve's money, but he was only looking out for you and business. Service starts at 10. It's 8.30. We're not open yet. Okay. If you want to lecture someone, lecture Theo. Jesus. What happened? Well, she's angry. I wonder where she gets that from. Well, no, but like... Oh. I needed my space, but not like Cheryl. Bear with her. Today especially. Bear with her. So is she with him every moment? Feels like it. Dad? This wall feels squishy. See? Ew. Market. Dang. No way, all this came from a storm. It's called a haunted house, and they're telling you to get the hell out of our house. Mm -hmm. I can fix it. Oh, I hate that room. Oh, God. Storm was just last night. It can't be all the way down here. It can't be down here. <sighs> Means we got water pooling all the way down here, three floors down. Mother <sighs> Language. Father Mucker. Oh God. Do you hear that? No, 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 no. Don't do that. Maybe rats. Do it through just about anything. Uh. Just suck. This could ruin us. I don't, uh... Fuck. Hey, hey, I'm not a little early. I fucked up last night, Daddy. Even by Crane standards. And I don't think Shirley is ever gonna talk to me again. What did you do? It, it didn't look like they were... I guess you don't. ...doing anything but arguing. Yeah, I'm sorry. I should have made more of an effort with you. You tried. I should have met you halfway. People fuck up. I, it, it didn't look like they were I guess you don't. doing anything but arguing. You don't really get it. And this doesn't have to do with Steve's money, does it? Oh, no. Yeah. I didn't expect that. Gotta start somewhere. That's a good start. See, I would think that Olivia would be with oh, Nell on the other side. Maybe she needs something to be put back to the other side. She's be stuck put in limbo. Peace. Yeah. From all the stuff we've seen. The spirits always need to be put to rest. Maybe there's something still haunting her. I'll combine these plans into one master blueprint, draw up something that represents the actual piping, and then we'll find out how fucked we really are. It's bizarre. Steve's trying to 
talk to her. You wish you'd had better role models, better marriage to emulate? We were solid, babe. We were. Those last few days don't count. That wasn't us. People have to think that this dude is like completely off the rocker. Right. I didn't get a chance last night to tell you how proud I am of you. He doesn't want to make today about him. It's okay to just sit, just be with him. You don't have to talk. So, because Nell and Olivia aren't like together, it makes me think that this is in Hugh's head. That Olivia is in his head. Yeah. That's what. That's the only reason why I think. Yeah. That's it just popped in. So you don't think she's visiting him now? I'm not sure. Because, like, wouldn't... Wouldn't... I don't know. I don't know. Well, I mean, it goes back to all those... I mean, obviously... You gotta take some of those shows that we've watched with the grain of salt, but... Like... There... She could be stuck. Like, needing a release to go to... You okay. know, her place. Fin uh, so. Finish her business. Some ghosts have unfinished business. That's why they're down here. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it could definitely... I mean, we still don't know exactly what he went through. Mm -hmm. So he could absolutely just be crazy. Okay. Like, he could have... You never know. Like, no. I mean, he could, he could just be talking to himself, thinking he's being advised. Because that's basically what's happening. Is like she's advising him through these... Yes. Like what to wear, what how to talk to the kids, like, mm -hmm. like he when could, to talk, when not to talk. He could one hundred percent be just out of it. Looney. Like, okay. It would make sense. So mm -hmm. All right. Sorry. ready to jump back in? Yep. Okay. My sweet boy. There she is. You knew she'd be here. What is that, Aunt Janet? You? Janet. I'm so sorry. I mean, none of none of us should be here. I know what you mean. Well, do you hear that? Yeah. Water running. I have a present for you. Master Blueprints? Master Blueprints. Was that right? All this water is coming from that red room upstairs. So, what's next? What? Be safe down here, okay? Good job, honey. What? <laughs> they just love to leave you hanging. I cannot say, and I will not say, that she is dead. She is just awake. She has wandered into an unknown land. Think of her still as the same, I say. That's a good poem. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, is Luke gonna make me cry? Shit. I was born 90 seconds before now, and uh, I had used that to, you know, if we had a fight or um, if, I, if I wanted something, I, I'd say I, I was the oldest, so she had to do what I said, and she, she, she let me get away with it. <laughs> I mean, even though she knew it was bullshit. Yeah, that last time I saw her, she, um, she was driving me to rehab. She looked at me and she said, you go in there. And you bring my brother back. Bring my brother back. I was born 90 seconds before no. But she was always my biggest sister. this i don't know exactly the missus do these yeah maybe she could use a little time away from the house what, what did she it? seriously what'd she put down i was actually born here my mom she she never liked her house she'd come home sometimes after a long shift and she'd be scattered 
Towards the end, she'd wander into the woods at night barefoot. And she'd sleep out there sometimes, too, so yeah. Scattered. So Mom died, and um, I met Clara. We even got married on the grounds. Clara, she spent a lot of time in here. Clara got pregnant. So the day comes, the doc comes, and uh, my little girl's stillborn. The nightmares she had. And Claire is a brave woman. And these nightmares, they had her down in a corner. Shaking so bad, I thought she'd seize up dead. Jeez. Uh, sorry. She's cleaning the master bedroom up there. This is before Hazel passed. She's cleaning Hazel's room. She hears a, a, a baby crying. And she goes looking and looking. And I mean, I thought she was losing her damn mind. She ran home through the woods, scratched her face to ribbons on the branches. I mean, damn, but I heard it too, and I, that was my first little girl's cry. That, that first cry, the one she never got to. We stopped coming here after dark. It worked. No more nightmares, no one acting scattered. And it's better if you find your missus is acting scattered. Yeah, maybe a little time away would do the trick. That's a horrifying story. He just basically told you this place is fucking haunted. And will destroy your life. Beautiful service. Who knew Luke had it in him? Tell me. You know, I was, I was talking to Theo this morning. Did Theo tell you what she did? Uh, no. Don't. But you know, we all fuck up and we can listen to each other. I don't One day. Why is he not listening now? Be too late. Stay the to... fuck out of my business. There it is. Stuck your hand. Right in the fan. like it was yeah. in the police station so maybe we're getting closer to finding out what happened we are why not just knock the door down maybe they want to save the door oh, well not anymore now it's like impenetrable yeah Shit. That was just all right. Oh, Fox. It was mom and Nella. Yeah, hey, stop it. Oh my god. If you don't get your shit together, like mom and Nell didn't get their shit together, you're gonna end up just like them, you understand? Fuck, dude. I'm a very intimate, you understand? Okay. Okay, can Olivia please explain that shit to, to Hugh here, please? What did she just do then? Maybe she's not really visiting him. What in the hell? What in the hell? Live. What the hell? Oh, 
What the fuck? <laughs> Pam, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I Holy know. shit. What's going on with you? You're holding a fucking screwdriver to my throat. No, I wasn't. Shit, that's what she did? It's a master blueprint, you true? No, it's not. Yes, it is. I didn't know what this was. You used the same shape dozens of times. It's a footprint to our house, to our forever house. I didn't. You did? I did. Oh my God. Maybe you should take a break. Yeah. Take a little rest. I guess I could see it. Janet's up for a visit. I want to know what's going on to her during these nightmares. Crazy. I didn't say that. Obviously, she doesn't make it out of the house to go visit. Janet. Yeah. I see your mother every day. I have since she died. Wow. Well, um, it's, it's pretty nuts. <laughs> it's, uh, for me, it's a coping mechanism. So maybe it is in his head. No, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. In fact, my therapist says that it's a perfectly normal. Well, I'm happy for you. Yeah. I know it sounds nuts, but it's, uh, but you don't have to feel crazy because sometimes. Big boys know things. the difference between what's real and imaginary. Isn't it right, Ted? Shit, threw it right back in his face. I mean, the fact that his dad admitted that to Luke was kind of a big deal, it feels like. Mm -mm. Is it Olivia making noises somewhere? Is that what the scratching is? You see the shit behind the door? Oh fuck! Holy shit! Oh god! Oh my god! Did you see the chick behind the... No, I didn't see it. Oh my god. I was too focused she, she, on him. She was like... Oh my god. So that's the other body that they found in the house? Fuck. Oh, shit. The cane and... Uh, Mr. Crane, I think you just saw one of my oldest gold cases. Yeah. Was that the dude with the hat? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he bricked himself in. The tools were in there with him. That man, the scratches. I guess he had second thoughts. Yeah, he was... He was trying to scratch his way out? Well, good news is Massachusetts doesn't require that you disclose you've had any death on the premises to any potential buyers. Oh, jeez. He looks that way right now. He's like, but you're going to. Good night, now. Is it haunted? Oh. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, dude. Hell no. So that was the top hat dude with the cane who was going after Luke, right? I feel like, yeah. yeah. And he was hearing the scratching. <laughs> Nuts. That was a day. I can't find my credit card. Did you tow my car? Reception's over, Theodora. As far as you're concerned, we're closed. Sorry. Oh my God. My car is gone. He looked wrong. Has anybody seen Luke? Oh no. Your silence doesn't protect them. What yes. the hell? Fucking hell! Can't even last one day? An hour. Probably already has a needle in his arm. We don't know that. What's that? Oh, God. It's, it's okay. I can... I... What the hell? Oh my god! Why was the face all 
destroyed. Twice now, you say that the house killed her. I didn't touch her. And I don't know why you won't give me these three hours. These three hours was helping so much right now, and you won't do it. I don't understand. The three hours you waited, what happened in those three hours, You. I was mourning. You didn't call us for three hours because you were grieving. That's right. Your daughter Shirley says she woke you up because she was surprised to see mom in the kitchen. She says that you ran up the stairs to the, uh, the red room. Oh, so what did you see? Shit. When you got to the red room, it was nothing. Oh, I just got crazy chills. No. Holy shit. Oh my God. This show, seriously. I think we're getting into I'm, the meat. I think we're getting into the, the final night next episode. Suddenly the red room's open. Olivia's waking up with Screw screwdrivers driver. in his throat. Like, he goes running into the room. I think we're. I don't think. I don't think Olivia hung herself. No, with that shit on her face. What the fuck happened? Like her face was like sliced open, and he had blood all over him. Like what was like? Was there like some kind of attack, and he had to like take her out? I don't know. Or something. I don't know. Holy shit. Was she trying to kill him and then... I mean, something, clearly something goes down in that red room right as this episode closes. Where is, it's probably the moment that it hits the fan. Um, Can we watch the next one? <laughs> Do you have time? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> gotta find out what... <laughs> Like, no, I need to know. It's just I can't wait another week. <laughs> and where'd Luke go? Fuck, I don't know. What happened? Did like, he go back to the house? <sighs> Why would he take a credit card if he only had to get back to the house? Was he gonna go get drugs before going to the house? Fuck. Just get loaded and go to the house and like what? OD at the house? Oh my god. I don't. I mean, drug dealers don't take credit cards. I mean, he could go pull cash. Does he know her pin? I don't know. <laughs> this is crazy, though. I'm freaking it's out. Like, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. It's oh like when God. a show hits you with stuff that heavy at the end, does anything even before it matter? No. <laughs> no, like, no, no, no. It's like, holy crap. The whole episode just built to the like those couple moments at the end. Yes. And it's like, What holy happened shit. in those three hours? Yeah. Like, it's... He He's obviously... I mean, we see that he... It got out, he didn't get arrested, and he's living a life. But how do you explain to the cops, like, oh yeah, I grabbed my kids, took off, blood all over me, my wife apparently got axed to the face or some shit. Like, how do you, how do you explain that? I don't know. I don't know. That was, I mean. My eyes are so dried out from being open the whole time. I mean, that was an intense episode. It's like the whole time, like, what is he going to find in the house? He keeps tearing shit down. He keeps breaking open stuff. He's trying to figure out where all this water is coming from, where the scratching's coming from. And it was like, I'm going to assume it was Top Hat Guy in the wall. Because uh, I, I saw a cane. And, and that was Mr. Hill. Yeah. And that's that's the guy who has been tormenting Luke. Like, he friggin cemented himself into the wall like why <laughs> like this place is crazy and he was talking to one of the dudleys like he's telling the story like dude get her out of the house this place is going to ruin your life and not that long after that conversation clearly it ruined their life mm -hmm. holy shit that was a lot that was a lot I totally thought that, like, when they were reading, like, the, or speaking, like, she was going to sit up in that casket. 
I mean, with the shot they kept giving us, with, yes. yeah, totally. There's probably like, the high angle in the background and shit, yeah. and we didn't see that. But I totally saw that shit. I it didn't. was like the long, like blonde or white hair, and like she's just like peeking. Oh, <laughs> rewind that shit. I was way too. Actually, don't don't do that. I was way too focused on Hugh in that moment oh, to see anything. Oh god. Or the the hole in the wall, like. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, maybe I was mistaken. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Oh, great. Now you're seeing things. Am I going to wake up to a screwdriver in my throat tonight? I ain't got time for a screwdriver. Go for the knife. Oh, I mean. <laughs> 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 it's just, it's so insane. <laughs> it's so insane watching the deterioration of Olivia. Like, I have, every time I we not... see, every time we see her, it's like, She's progressively just getting a little bit worse and a little, a little bit more worse frazzled and just losing it a little bit more. I am not able to like. Sorry, that sounded weird. There was nothing there. Uh, I'm not like able to make like coherent sentences right now. I mean, that was intense. That was a scary episode. That was that was very intense. Okay. Anyway. Is that it? I think so. All right, y'all. Leave some comments down below. What did you think of that episode? This shit's getting real. Like, everyone's losing their mind. Everyone is on edge. And we're... Th that story about the last night at Hill House is starting to come together. So, this is crazy. So, yeah. Leave them comments. Like, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. And we will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.